Hi everyone! Sadly, we couldn't have been more right in our previous video when we covered the Winwing Zero ban. Right after recording that video, guess what? The ban went in full effect and blocked popular software for a short amount of time. Luckily, it was lifted very fast, but still those software were blocked. And we're talking about community work. We're talking about useful software. We're talking about Zen timings, fan control. We're talking about open hardware monitor, libre hardware monitor, cap frame X, sidebar diagnostics, open RGB, signal RGB, throttle stop, and many more. Even some manufacturer's software was actually blocked. And come on guys, you can do better than that. Anyway, we cannot let those software go into oblivion and just get blocked because of a driver ban. So we are not going to stay idle, we are going to act. We are going to release our own driver, which will act as a replacement for the Wing Wing Zero. So all the software will be able to switch and continue functioning from now on. It will be signed by us, it will be maintained by us, it will be closed source, all right, we always do our thing closed source, but it will be free for the community. Our goal is not to see all those software go to waste. It's an option we're giving you guys. The philosophy behind this driver is very simple. It's community first. You're not making money, it's free. You're making pocket change, it's free. As soon as you start making a bunch of money with your application, and congrats if it's happened to you, well, we'll ask you to fund the development. Same thing if you're a company and you're selling it along with your product, we'll ask you to fund the development. So something very simple, very accessible, targeted towards, first and foremost, the community. So development starts right now on it, which it will still be some time before it reaches live status because we have to go through all the Microsoft validation pipeline. We're talking about kernel level code. So it has to be pristine and perfect right off the bat so that we don't cause blue screen. So this will take some time, but we will get there eventually. And I ask everyone which may need this driver to please contact us so that we can know what are your needs and we can make this whole thing work together. That's it for this announcement. Please like and subscribe. Give a shot to OCCT on Linux. We will have more news coming from Steam very soon. So let's get in touch and see you soon.